Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition for Nintendo Switch. Available May 18th. Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 4 Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to be showing you several tips on how to maximize your generator efficiency to basically get the most amount of power in the least amount of space. So there are three sizes of generator available in the game and also a windmill. The generators can be noisy and the larger they are, the louder they are. The windmills are quiet, but they provide only three power each. The small generator also provides three power, but you can fit six small generators into the same floor space as one windmill. So, you can see the windmills aren't very economic. I usually use the windmills for primarily aesthetic purposes, and use the generators as the bulk of my power supply. You can make generators quieter by turning them off and on again to cycle the sounds they make. The default sound they have when you build them is actually the loudest one. Of the generators, we've got the large one, which produces 10 power, the medium one, which produces 5, and the small one, which again produces 3. I personally think the medium one is completely useless, since it doesn't even give twice as much power as the small one, and yet it takes up over twice as much space. So, we're not even going to talk about the medium generator in this video. What about the large one, though? I've noticed a lot of people, and maybe even most people, just slap down a few large generators and call it good without even thinking about it. But personally, I think the small generator is extremely underrated, and I'm going to show you why. First of all, the small generator, while not as powerful, is so much more compact. You can actually fit 12 small generators in the same space as one large one. Actually, probably even more than 12, since I don't have them stacked quite as tall as the large generator here. Could probably fit closer to 18. So that's 36 to 54 power from the multiple small generators against the 10 power from the single large one. If you'd like to know how I stack the generators like that, it's pretty easy. First, line up as many generators as you want on one or more floor sections. Then snap another large floor section to that so that the boards are facing vertically. Then get the small ladder and attach a small wood floor to the top of it. Hold X to select the ladder and the floor piece together. Line it up so that the foot of the ladder is a couple inches from the edge of the large floor piece and that there are two boards on the right side of the ladder. Then take the large floor piece and attach it to the small one so that it lines up with the one below that the generators are sitting on. It's kind of hard to get it perfect. As you can see, this one isn't exactly lined up, but it's pretty close. After you've got it how you want it, just line up generators on the top one. You can fit nine small generators on one of the large floor sections. So two stacked layers would give you 54 power, which isn't too shabby. Thank you. 
If you can't get that last generator to fit, just add a small board to each side of the corner and that will allow you to place the generator. Then remove the boards. When you're done, remove the other small board and the ladder and you've got yourself a lot of power packed into one small space. Now, if this seems too gimmicky to you, I totally understand it is for me too. That's why I built this for one of my settlements. It uses the same technique, just inside a building, so the upper platform actually looks like a shelf. And I used fence posts to make it look like the shelf is supported. This is a central power station for my entire settlement, protected by laser and shotgun turrets. There are 38 small generators packed in here, providing 114 power. This thing is so small, I could almost fit two of them on this one foundation. So a small power station like this could easily fit in pretty much any settlement. Another tip, which is also a bit gimmicky, but could potentially double the number of generators you could fit in one spot, is to merge generators together so they're inside each other. I've seen other people do this, though I'm not quite sure on their techniques, but this is how I've figured out how to do it. First, you want to build a wood foundation. You can also use the small ladder from the last tip if you want to. I believe they both work equally well most of the time, but I did find the foundation to be easier. Place a small generator on the ground beside the foundation. You can do more than one generator, it just gets more difficult to line them up the more of them you have. So for the sake of this video, I'll just use the one. And you can experiment with more on your own if you want to. Then place a small floor piece in the corner of the foundation over the generator. If you're lining up multiple generators, you'll of course want to use a large floor piece. Then put a second generator on top and line it up so it's even with the first generator. This will require some fine-tuned tweaking, and it's very hard to get them perfect. But in actual fact, it's better if they're just slightly misaligned. Once you're satisfied with the positioning, remove the floorboard and the upper generator will fall down inside the lower generator. As you can see, there are in fact two generators here sharing the same space. They're not perfectly aligned. You can see two exhaust pipes and two power conduits, but that's a good thing. You need to be able to see both power conduits so you can attach power cables to each one. So here I've got two laser turrets hooked to a merged generator. Each turret requires two power to operate, and each small generator puts out only three power. So you need two small generators to power both of these together. By merging the generators, you save a lot of space. I don't advise trying to merge more than two generators together, since I personally could not get it to work. You can try, of course, but when I did it, I couldn't attach anything to the third one. I don't know, maybe I just had bad luck. But imagine this power station filled with merged generators. That would give a whopping 228 power crammed into that little shack. That's insane, especially when you realize that only two large generators would be able to fit in there. And even if you merge the large generators, that's still only 40 power. So, if you couldn't tell by now, I'm completely in love with the small generators. Now, I'm not saying that the small generators don't have their own drawbacks. Obviously, using so many small generators can hit your crafting resources pretty hard. But so can the large ones, if you want to get just as much power. For instance, let's take my power station that produces 114 power from small generators. To get the same amount of power from large generators, you'd have to build 11 of them. Here's a chart showing how much crafting materials you'd need for that many large and small generators. As you can see, the 38 small generators use only a little more common materials than the 11 large generators. And the large ones use quite a lot of rare components. So when you also factor in the amount of space 11 large generators takes up, I personally prefer the small ones. 
Alright everyone, this has been my video about how to maximize your power generation in the least amount of space. I hope you enjoyed it. If you learned something new, please give this video a like. And if you know